Now, this particular specimen dates back to the Plethorillium period. The Plethorillium period. Yeah, yeah, very big with the Plethorillium Stegosaurus, whatever it tops. Oh, I thought that was a new app. Where'd you get this one again? Gabbard Woods, camping trip with my dad three years ago. Nice. How's he doing? Living the small town life. What's this one? <laughs> I picked up when you asked me to homecoming. Oh, yeah? BFFs at FHH, Firestone High Homecoming. And by BFF, I assume you mean brilliant, fetching, Finlandian man? That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> Checked Instagram lately. Last time I looked, we were blowing up. 214. What? <laughs> That's a lot of likes. Josh has a lot of friends. Isn't it time for us to go? Annie's mom said she could eat over. Good. We have a few minutes. I'd love to hear more about homecoming. He's gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go. <clears throat> Maybe another time, Miss Arlo. Say hi to your folks. Tell your mom I loved her chicken salad recipe. I will. Be careful walking home. Yeah, into the halls of dangerous neighborhood. <laughs> so are you and Josh still just friends? Yes, we're still just friends. Are you sure? You two are so cute together and you seem... Can you please just stop? Honey, I just want to know what's going on in my daughter's life. A little late for that.
Abby! Hey, whoa, it's me. Are you okay? I was afraid you I'm fine, I'm fine. Where's Claire? I don't know. I, I didn't see any empty clothes. You know about that? My parents, their bodies, uh, they're gone. My mom, too. What is going on? I don't know. If Claire's clothes aren't here, that means she's alive somewhere. Where would she go? Josh, look. She wasn't here when it happened. She went for ice cream. Okay. Safe in here. She looks pale. Bring some water. I'm Pastor Barnes. This is our church. I'm Josh. I'm Gabby. This is my sister, Claire. My name is Flynn. And he's not with us. Do you know what's going on? The believers are gone. Others believe this would happen someday. Our church made these to explain. Guess I never really believed we'd use them. There are computers in the other room. Watch it. Take it to heart. I wish I would have. It's not gonna be easy going forward. Dad! I've been calling and calling. I couldn't get through. Do you know where your mom is? She's gone. She was right there, and then the next minute, she was just gone. It's happening here, too. Dad? Dad! I want to talk to Daddy! There's no signal. He'll call back. What did he say? What are we supposed to do? Claire, hang on. Wait, what's that smell? It's a gas leak! Head to the door! Move to the door! This way. Where are we going? <laughs> this is where you take us? What was your plan? Right. Nothing. We can't stay here. Will you please stop? Gabby, where's Mom? We need to get to Mom. I don't know where she is. You were with her. Where is she? I don't know. We need to get out of the city. We can go to my dad's, but we need to find Mom. She's going to be looking for us. Claire, let me think. I'm not leaving without Mom. Where, where is she? She's gone, OK? She's gone. Claire. Get away from me. Claire, Look at me. Hey, look. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I want my mom. I know. All right? It's okay. We can't stay in the city. If we can get to the train tracks, we can follow them to Elburn. I can find my way to my dad's from there. No, not happening. It's not your call. Are you kidding me? We don't even know him. I can't deal with this right now. It's fine, we have to go. No. No. Oh, break it up! No. Break it. No. I 
I'm hungry. How long is it? A while. Hey. Maybe we should have told them what's back there. Maybe they should have told us what's ahead. Where is everybody? They can't all have vanished, can they? Well, somebody did this. <gasps> I was just looking for food. Us too. Have you heard anything about what happened? No, have you? Well, there's nothing left here. Good luck. more water? Nope. You should drink or you'll get dehydrated. I'm not a baby, Gabby. I'm 11 years old. Claire, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to tell you about Mom that way. I know. Well, I just need some peace. I just need some It was like they just disintegrated. How does that happen? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of chemical warfare that makes everyone disappear at the same time. I'm tired and hungry. So am I. What happened to the people? I don't know. Their clothes are here, but they're not. Just like with Annie. Where'd they go? I wish I knew. Sorry. About your mom. Did your parents disappear? A long time ago. Hey, 
We found some bread and peanut butter. Great. Claire loves peanut butter. What about targeted radiation? Terrorists with x-ray machines. Like it. I got a signal. Sorry, all circuits are currently busy. I've seen him before. Seen who before? Flynn. You know him? I don't know him. I've seen him a couple times. You know where the homeless guys are? By the old fountain? Yeah. Gabby! Come on. Hello? Shut up. What? What about an alien invasion? Makes about as much sense as what you guys are saying. The pastor at the church, he said the believers are gone. Believers? You mean like people who believed this was gonna happen? Hey, I recognize this place. We're almost there. That's Dad's truck. my dad. Well, hello. Where is he? Your dad. Eric Harlow. Where is he? Gee, honey. Afraid we don't know. The house was empty when we got here. <sighs> Gabby, come on, let's leave. We're not leaving. They are. You got a mouth on you, don't you? Hey. It's all good.
Forget it. We're not coming back. Gabby, my leg. It's okay, it's okay. Ah! Hang on, Claire, you're gonna be okay. It hurts. I know, Claire, I know, but I need you to calm down, okay? I saw this big farm. It's not too far. I saw some women there. Hello? Please, we need help! Please open up! My sister cut her leg. She's lost a lot of blood. Lay her on the bed. Okay. All right. Can you clear up? Yeah. There you go. Hey, what's your name, sweetheart? Claire. I'm Sarah. Uh, she cut her leg on some glass. It's okay. My sister's a nurse. Is she gonna be all right? Uh, well, first I gotta clean the wound, and then we will see what we got. What's your name? Gabby. Claire's my sister. Well, Gabby, I'm gonna take really good care of your sister, but right now I need you guys all to step out so I can work. No, I'm not leaving her. Come on, boys. friends in good hands. Sarah's as good as any doctor, or better. She doesn't need a piece of paper from some college to prove her worth. Come on, I'll give you the tour. And get you something to eat. This shouldn't hurt now. All right. I'm gonna stitch this. So you might not want to look. I'm fine. You got a lot of medical stuff here. Yeah, that's my brother for you. Prepared down to the last detail. Although I never believed we'd need it. All the fruits and vegetables, even the grains and meats, all grown right here. Thanks, Larry. Who are these people? Neighbors, people who walked in. Everyone laughed when I said I didn't trust the system. <laughs> now they're all hoping for a handout. I mean, I'll share, but everybody has to contribute. How long have you been here? I got here right after everybody disappeared, just like everybody else. But Damon's been building this place for a long time, years. Isn't this sort of a big place for one person? Yeah, well, my brother's always been a bit different. When I was chasing after boys and riding horses in junior high, he was building a wind turbine in the backyard. Wow. Yeah, we always thought he'd end up at MIT or Harvard, and he could have. They wanted him, but life went in a different direction. All of this will soon be hydroponic, gravel for root support instead of soil. The crops will get a balanced mixture of all the necessary ingredients in a liquid form. Intense. Yeah, it is sort of intense, but my method yields 10 times any conventional agricultural method. Here, smell. <clears throat> no, I, I'm, I'm not really an herb guy. It's rosemary. We're going to have it with the chicken tonight. It's really delicious. Oh, let me guess. You grow chickens, too. Free range. We feed them scraps, the chickens fertilize the vegetation, and we both have created this complete, perfect loop here at Sanctuary. Sanctuary? Mm-hmm. You know the word? Yeah, it means a place where people can escape to. And a place that people can live without interference. Or fear of reprisal. Reprisal from what? From whatever. Damon always said the time would come when people couldn't rely on the government or modern conveniences. People eventually would have to survive on their own. Does he know why all this happened? Well, he certainly has his theories. It's not a theory. What's happening is we're suffering the effects of an EMP. EMP? Electromagnetic pulse. It's complicated, but basically an EMP is a short burst of electromagnetic energy, which causes a solar storm. Our world relies almost exclusively on computerization and the electricity that feeds it. 
The CMP, whether natural or man-made, has disabled the civilization as we know it. If it's man-made, who made it? The North Koreans have been working on something like this for years. Or maybe it's even beings that we don't even know exist. Either way, everyone was completely unprepared. Except me. I get how an EMP could take out all the technology, but it doesn't explain why everyone disappeared. My guess is that it has something to do with certain individuals' electromagnetic makeup. Well, so the EMP just vaporizes people? That's a simplistic way to put it, but yes, it's conceivable. This guy back in the city said something about how the people who disappeared were believers. Right. That's a fringe religious theory. Believers who believe in the right God in the right way get zapped up into heaven without warning. Well, so what if you become a believer afterwards? People just keep getting zapped up? Oh, no, they think it's a one-time occurrence. It doesn't need to make sense. People rely on religious superstitions because they don't understand something. I'm a man who deals in fact, not fiction, and never fantasy. There. She should be just fine. Just gonna have to watch her fever. We were lucky we found you. Oh. I'm just glad I could help. Do you live around here? No, we're from the city. My mom was one of the ones who disappeared. I'm sorry. But my dad's still alive. He didn't live too far from here. Maybe you know him. Eric Carlo? Did he ever come here? No. Sorry. But maybe he, uh, maybe he went to look for you in the city. If you're my daughter, that's what I would do. When I built this place, people thought that I was crazy. You know, they were the same ones with their careers and families and tin gods, but that world's gone now. Suddenly, I'm the sanest guy on the planet. You're right. Chicken's delightful. Okay, her fever has dropped a bit. You two can hold down the fort for a little while, can't you? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <sighs> she seems cool. But, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Her brother's a little weird. So is this place. What do you mean? I don't know, just, just a vibe. As soon as Claire's better, I wanna go back to the city anyway. My dad might be trying to find us. Yeah, he's probably at your place right now. Vernon Billings. Since you're watching this, the promised event of 1 Thessalonians 4.17 has happened. People you know and love have vanished and you've been left behind. I know right now you're feeling lost and afraid and it seems like the world has gone crazy and in a way it has. But I'm here to explain to you what has happened and that there's still hope for you. One minute I'm standing there talking to my mom in the next minute. Everything just... At least I still got her. Yeah. She's a good kid. She said she's seen you. Before. I did sort of meet her once. She gave me her french fries one day. And, uh, just stuck with me. How long you been on the streets? About a year. What about your parents?
They lost custody. Drugs. Oh yeah. Bounce around some foster homes. But then I left. You know it. It's messed up sometimes. But uh <laughs> you just deal. I thought we had it bad. Not compared to you. My mom drank. A lot. My dad worked all the time. It was just me and Claire pretty much. The last few months, I think my mom was trying. Didn't drink, talked about God, started going to some church. She seemed like she changed, but It doesn't matter now. You just deal, right? You know. Hey! What's up? I was just gonna show you the thing the pastor gave us. What? Let's see. The event that has happened is called the rapture. Believers have been caught up with Jesus in the air to spare them from the coming tribulation on earth. You seriously believe that? I seriously don't know. Well, it makes just as much sense as EMPs or chemical warfare. Oh. Better get some sleep. It would be rude to point out that you snore loud, massively loud. So I won't. Good to not know. Something for your collection. Tonight was homecoming. Wow. Yeah. High school feels like a hundred years ago. We've been friends for a long time. BFFs at FHH. It's okay to be Gabby. Hey, 
Welcome back. Such a long time. How do you feel? I like a song. You're an awful dancer. Water. Thanks. Farming seems so much easier on TV. Maybe I'm just a wimp. Trust me, before I got here, the only blister I ever got was unscrewing my nail polish bottle. <laughs> I see Damon's already put you to work. Yeah. Lucky me. I'm Gabby, by the way. Rachel. What's with the gun? Supposedly for protection. That is better to not ask too many questions. Rachel, did you ever meet anybody here named Eric Harlow? He's my father. No. Sorry, I've, I've got to go. Right back. You okay? Hey, come on. I should just go home now. I mean, my dad's obviously not here. He's back in the city looking for us. I have to find him. For Claire. I should go with you. But she can't walk that far. I don't want to leave her. And what if I go home and he's not there? It's gonna be okay. But what if it's not okay? It hasn't been that great up till now. We just can't be dead. It wasn't right between us, and now he's dead. Hey, it's okay. It's not okay. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Wanna go back? Not yet. Are you tired? No, I was just thinking about my mom. You miss her a lot, don't you? Yeah. I still don't get it. I mean, why did she just disappear? Because she was a believer. That's what the other guy said. What does that mean? 
a believer. Did your mom ever talk to you about God? Yeah, but I didn't listen. Didn't seem to have too much to do with me. I didn't listen either. But it was predicted that the believers went to heaven. Do you believe that? I do now. But there was this pastor we saw. Don't pastors do a bunch of good stuff? Why didn't he go to heaven? Well, it doesn't really work like that. Your job doesn't make you a believer. And you can't really do enough good stuff. It's more like a gift. Something you're given, not something you earn. Do you think I could become a believer? If that's what you really want. But if I'm supposed to pray or something, I'm not sure I know how to do it right. Oh, don't worry. It's just talking to God. Am I supposed to close my eyes? You can do whatever you want. God will hear you either way. Jesus, this is Claire. Look, the path. Try to keep up. Get in. I said get in. <laughs> hey, you really think this is a good idea? You want him to listen to you, don't you? How else are we gonna build this thing? This is no joke. It's us or them. Don't you get that? Shut up! You keep that up and you're gonna stay in there another day. Come on! Gabby! That was right back? What, what's happening? Where'd you go? Answer him. Where'd you go? We are going for a walk. Something wrong with that? Well, let's go talk to Damon, see what he has to say. You too. <sighs> you like it here, Gabby? It's OK, I guess. What about you, Flynn? Like Josh said. Chicken's delightful. Well, at least we agree on that. I owe you guys an apology. For what? I should have made it clear. I should have told you right away those woods were off limits. So why would you guys go out there? <laughs> this is bogus. Come on, Sit down! There's a problem. People understand that I'm offering survival. They trust me with their lives. With that trust comes respect. Respect for me, respect for the rules, and respect for the concept that I lead and they follow. So I'm gonna give you another chance. 
What did you see out in those woods? Trees. Not obeying the rules. Let me handle them. They trust me. Just tell me what you want. Please. Make them understand how we do things here. Are you okay? I'm fine. Come on, we gotta get you guys out of here. Claire, wake up. Gabby, shh. Wake up. Why didn't you tell me my dad was here? He's not. Daddy's here? I saw him. Damon's got dad and some others. They're prisoners. Wait, what? Yeah, I saw them at some place out in the woods. But I'm sure you don't know anything about that either. It must have happened after the fight. Damon lost it one night when I contradicted him in front of a group. He went after me. Your dad stepped in and a couple other guys. But the next day, they were all gone. Damon told me he asked them to leave, and they left. So, I just thought that your dad went to look for you like before. Wait, before? Yeah, he was going to get you when he had the accident. You mean the truck? All he could talk about was getting back to you as soon as he got better. So after the fight, I just assumed that that's where he went. Maybe I should have known differently. Damon to never let anyone walk away. I'm sorry. Now, please, we really have to leave. Follow me. Still needed here, but I'll be praying for you, okay? And I'm really sorry that I didn't tell you your dad had been here. I did that for your protection. I know. Okay. All right, you gotta go. Be careful. Daddy, are you okay? Shh. It's okay, honey. Gabby, it's not safe. We need to get you out of here. Oh, you gotta hurry. Be careful. What do you mean he's gone? How is he gone? I don't know. Somebody must have helped him. You know, if anybody finds out what we've been doing, 
It's gonna be bad. No one's gonna find out anything, because we're gonna find him, and he won't be coming back to talk to anybody. What? You know what I mean. Look, I've done some things in my life, but killing somebody? I'm open to suggestions. The way I see it, they forced our hand. We need to get you away from here, get you someplace safe. Hey, but what about everybody else? We have to help them. I will help them, but not until you're safe. <sighs> we'll see how Claire's leg feels after she's had a chance to rest. I'd like to keep moving if she can. I'm really sorry, Gabs. For what? For not protecting you. For leaving you and Claire when I couldn't hold things together anymore. It's okay. We managed. Nah, you managed. But only because I forced you to. It's whatever. No. No, it was wrong. I made a lot of mistakes, and you suffered because of them. Before, uh, a lot of us went through life just trying to get by. We paid the bills, did what we needed to do, just looked for whatever comforts we could find. I never really thought about where we all came from or how we fit in. Or where we all go when it's over. But everything's different now. And it can't be ignored. I need to talk to you about what's happened. What it all means. And what do you think it all means? Well, I believe. No, I'm sure. Why we weren't taken and why others were. Why your mother was. The believers are all gone. You're seriously gonna get religious on me? No, religious? No. It's not about religion. It's about what I've seen. No, it's the only thing that explains what happened. And it's why I believe now, too. You. <laughs> yeah, me. Suddenly, this all seems different. Not just some accident. I want you to know what believing means. Save it, Dad, OK? OK, I've heard it. Mom gave me the whole. Jesus came down and Jesus died stuff. I mean, it's fine if it works for you, but. But you've seen it with your own eyes. Miracles are everywhere, Gabby. If you just let yourself, you'll see them. Get up! You helped them, didn't you? Yes, I did. Are you too stupid to realize you just jeopardized everything? Damon, I love you, but you've got to stop before you go to... Uh, uh, don't ever tell me what to do.
You're gonna be okay. You're right. I know where I'm going, Gabs. But I couldn't let you die. I want you and your sister there, too. You know where I have to go back, right? Because of Dad? He wasn't gonna leave those people here. We can't either. We mark the spot so we can find you when we come back. See that road? If we're not back by the time it gets light, start walking. It'll lead to a farm or a town. You're coming back. I know, Claire, but you have to promise me. You are coming back. I ask God to keep you safe. We know what we're doing, right? I'm good. Yeah. If one of us doesn't make it, you have to keep going. We have to get back for Claire no matter what. Let's hit it then. Be coming any minute. Or I've almost got it. Hey, hey, hey.
Eugene, it's just us here. Put it down. We're supposed to be with the kids at the lake house. The kids love the lake house. You don't want to hurt us, right? I was just trying to keep them safe. I swear, I am not this guy. I know. I know. We're walking out now. Okay? I swear. I'm just the dad. I know. I know. <laughs> Rachel, shh, shh, shh. Pass the word. We're leaving. you out, Sarah. Do you know where the key is? Damon's got it, but you can't be here. It's not safe. I'll be right back. Get the, the buckets! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Where is everybody? Have your Josh? No. They'll be here. Don't worry. Should we have everybody? Where are the keys? I got him, I got him, I got him. Uh, I don't know which is which. I'm all over it. You know how to drive? Let's hope so. He's coming! Hang on. Stop the car! Stop the car! I've got to get clear. I'm coming with you. Kate, there's an abandoned farm at the end of the road. Go! We'll meet you there. We gotta go. Okay. Hey. Where'd you say the farm was? Do we even know if we're going in the right direction? Go, go, go.
Not so easy to hide in the light, is it? Hey, guys. This is very exciting. <laughs> but you're wearing me out. We have to get back to the woods. Hello? Are you listening? I'm talking to you. Stay there. Go, go, he's coming! Grab on! Go without me! No, I'm not leaving without you. Take my hand. Take my hand! Just stop! Okay? Did I say you could move? Let us go. Shut up! Choose. What? Choose between your cute little boyfriends. <laughs> I don't need both of them. Choose who goes. I'm gonna let you decide. I, I'm not gonna hurt you. I need you at Sanctuary, but I can't have the two of them. They're troubled together. I just need one of them to do the heavy work. No, you can't. I said choose! No, no. You can't say no. You don't listen! How can I explain this so you hear me? Hear me, hear me! 
Life is full of choices. Hard choices. I had to choose between being a leader or a follower. And that was not always easy. <laughs> now it's my world. You can pray to me. Choose or I'll just kill them both. No. I said choose! <laughs> Doing okay? Yeah. I just keep thinking about today. What are the chances? You know? That everything worked out the way it did? I don't know. I guess we got lucky. Maybe it wasn't just luck. Maybe it was something more than that. It's a beautiful night, Dad. Maybe you're right. Hard to believe it was all an accident. God, Jesus, I don't really know what I'm supposed to say, but I'm ready to do this if you are. I believe. Gonna go. We're just gonna try and find some food. I want to come too. No, we still don't know what's out there. You should stay here with everyone else. There, done. I didn't know you knew how to do fishtail. Mom taught me. She taught me too. I used to love it when she'd comb my hair. Me too. You know, why don't you come with us? When did the power come back up? 
Day before yesterday. Thank you, Sarah. Are you sure I can't talk you into staying? We need to figure out if there's anything left at home. My friends are there. They need to know what really happened. OK. Come here. I'm going to miss you. You'll visit, though, right? Only if you promise to visit me. Looks like things are getting back to normal. Yeah, whatever that is now. We come together at a crossroads between fear and hope, between disorder and integration, between civil regression and a global community. We have restored calm to the world. So let us rise to this moment and put aside our differences and move forward with one accord into one new world, a world where everyone is free from oppression, where humanity reigns supreme. This world used to live only in our imaginations. Who's he? You don't know? A dream. That's Nikolai Carpathia. Who's that? It is within our grasp. He's the guy who's going to save us all. Join me as we move from all that separates us to all that unites us. Under one government, 
under one currency, under one belief. There is no need for doubt. He scares me. He scares me too. There is no need for fear. You are all safe. Trust me. Because 